So as I look about integrating this problem, I think it's U substitution. And you're asking me, hopefully, why do you think it's U substitution? And the reason is because I can't integrate it with everything that I know. It's not tangent, although it's sort of close because sine over cosine is tangent. This plus four gives us some problems. And because the derivative of this is related to that, or it pretty much is that, except for the chain rule. And also the derivative of sine is basically cosine. So some sort of derivative of the inner function will cancel something out. And so I've got two choices. I've got u equals cosine of 2x. Or I could have u equals sine of 2x. I'm not sure which one is the inner function, but if I was going to use that, the uh, u equals cosine of 2x, I better say u equals 3 cosine of 2x plus 4. And when I'm all done, I want the derivative of one of these functions to cancel out with something that's already there. So the first one we're going to try is the one on the right because it's so much easier. Let's just see if it works. Our u prime, or our du dx, would be equal to 2 times cosine of 2x. That would mean if I was to solve this for dx, it would equal du over 2 cosine of 2x. And if I was to rewrite this, I'm going to leave off my integration limits. I would have sine of 2x, and I would replace dx with du over 2 cosine of 2x. And in the denominator, I would have 3 cosine of 2x plus 4. And I would go ahead and replace this sine of 2x with u. And this is not any simpler than when I started. In fact, it's more complicated. There's no simplifying that's done, that can be done. So that means that's not the correct u substitution. Now let's do the other one. If I was to take the derivative of u equals 3 cosine of 2x plus 4, du dx would equal 6, because I'm going to multiply by the derivative of 2x, so 6 sine of 2x. Of course, the derivative of cosine will be negative, so I'm going to add a negative in front, and the derivative of 4 is 0. Now when I solve for dx, we would have du over negative 6 sine of 2x. Now let's write our integral down. Integral of sine of 2x. dx we're going to replace with du over negative 6 sine of 2x. And in this case, our u is in the denominator. And sure enough, Sine of 2x is found in both the numerator and the denominator, and so I can really integrate 1 over u du, and I'm going to factor this constant out in front, negative 1 over 6. Notice I have not used any integration limits, because these integration limits are in terms of x. And these integration limits need to be in terms of u. So I'm going to go ahead and put these integration limits in, in terms of u. If u equals 3 cosine of 2 times x plus 4, then my lowest integration limit is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, 
3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7. So this lower integration limit will be 7. The upper one will be when I substitute the upper limit of integration for x, which was pi over 4. Well, now 2 times pi over 4 is really pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 turns this whole entire first term into 0 plus 4. So I'm going to go from 7 to 4. Now I'll find my antiderivative. The antiderivative of 1 over u will be ln of the absolute value of u, and we have negative 1 sixth of that. And this is evaluated from 7 to 4. So that means we're going to have negative 1 sixth ln of 4 minus negative 1 sixth ln of 7. That will become plus. So we're going to have ln of 7 over 6 minus ln of 4 over 6. Or I could factor out a 1 sixth. All of these are now going to be equivalent ways to write this. We could have this. Or we could have 1 sixth ln of 7 over 4 using our log rules. Those are all equivalent forms of the answer. Now let's go back a step and pretend that we didn't use everything in terms of u. We're going to leave this an indefinite integral for now. We know the integral of 1 over u will be ln of the absolute value of u, negative 1 sixth of that. But we know that u was 3 cosine of 2x plus 4. Now that we've plugged in our u in terms of x, I can use my original lim limits of integration of 0 and pi over 4. So now as we do this, we have negative 1 sixth ln of 3 cosine of 2 times pi over 4 plus 4 minus negative one-sixth ln three cosine of two times zero plus four. Simplifying, this is pi over two. Cosine of pi over two is zero. So this first term becomes negative one-sixth ln of 4 plus 1 sixth ln. Well, here we have cosine of 0 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7. Hopefully this is looking a lot like it looked last time. Of course, these have to be equivalent each way. Equals 1 sixth ln of 7 minus one-sixth ln of four. That's the same as we had the other way.